Hi and welcome friends. So in this tutorial I am going to show you how to read an input at any GPIO pin. So I am going to use the same project which we have created in our previous tutorial that is a blinking and LED for L series microcontrollers. So let me open that project. Also I am using a, a IAR embedded workbench but you can use any one and the code will remain the same. So let me open this. Meanwhile, we'll download the schematic for that particular uh, nuclear board which I am using. Okay, so here is the schematic for nuclear board. So let us find out uh, where the switch is connected and and how it is connected. Uh, basically, switch can be connected like uh, uh, with the ground. Like if you press the switch, the line will be grounded. The other way is uh, that if you press the switch, the line will be pulled high. And there is one other way, uh, like if you remove, uh, leave the switch or leave the switch open, the line will be floating. So let us see uh, at what way the switch is connected. So the switch is actually written as user. So we'll find for user. Yeah. So here is our switch. Uh, so it is connected to PC13 and it is by default pulled high using 4.7 K register. So what does this indicate that uh, if you press the switch, this line will become grounded. That is at PC13, the value will be uh, zero. But if you leave the switch, the value will be uh, VDD that is around 3.3 volt so our uh, port is a uh, port c that is gpio port c and pin number is pin 13 so we'll use this information in our code okay so this is our code which we have written in our previous tutorial it is for blinking the led so what we are going to do now uh, we are going to blink the led only if switch is pressed that is if user switch is pressed then only LED should blink otherwise it should not blink. So what we will do, we will first uh, enable the clock for port C. So I will copy this and paste it here and then I will write port C. So uh, we have enabled the clock. Now we have to give the uh, configure our uh, GPIO peripheral and initialize it. So what I will do, I will copy this whole thing. Also, I can use this uh, type definition or variable, structure variable in the perif again. Because here the use of the, that initialize perif uh, structure is over. As we have uh, defined the values to it, its element, then we have assigned that value to the function or to port uh, GPIO port A. So now we can again use this uh, particular uh, variable it acts like a variable so we can use it again so what I will do I will copy this whole thing actually and I will put paste it here and then I will define GPIO pin number 13 this I don't need because already I have defined it then uh, mode is our mode is actually input so I will write in and then I will write here that port C initialize perif so it will initialize this peripheral also as we have done, defined these values like gpio mode gpio speed previously so what we can do we can remove these things also which are same so almost these three things are same so for if suppose you are defining long uh, or multiple pins so you can remove those parameters which are same in just previous definition like GPIO speed will remain uh, 2 megahertz if you again not define it here. So we just need to change some value if we are using the same variable. Okay. So we can write it like this also. So now we have written, now we have to know at uh, what is the command to read a particular pin. So to get the level of the pin configured input mode, use GPIO. So this function will give us an output 
about the mode of the pin. It can be either 0 or 1. So let us see exact. So it, this is the fun, actually function. So I'll copy this and paste it somewhere here. I'll just paste it right now and we'll see what are the parameter it will take. Okay, so the first parameter it will take the port number GPIO X. So here X will be GPIO C and the other is GPIO pin. So we know how to define that particular thing. So, so we will write GPIO C comma GPIO underscore pin underscore 30. Okay. So now uh, this function will return a value as you can see here. This function will return a value which can be either 0 or which can be either 1. So what we need to do, we need to save this value to some other variable or we can use it directly to our um, conditional operators but here we will write as uh, int condition equal to this whatever the output of this function or return type of this function. So C can either be 0 or either can, can be 1. If C is 1 means we have pressed, uh, we have not pressed the button because if we press the button the if we will press the button the output will become 0 that is PC13 will become 0 because it is connected to ground. But if we are not pressing the button or switch that is user switch the input will be high. So what we have to do if we press the button the LED should blink. So I will write if C is equal equal to 0 that means we have pressed the button or switch then this whole thing should process. Okay else nothing. So we we'll, can remove this also. This is not needed. Okay, so this is our code. So let us compile this code. Okay, so now let me show you the demo. So hi friends, uh, I have already dumped the code inside the board. So if I press the blue uh, switch, that is the user switch then LED should blink otherwise it should not blink so let me press the user switch so as you can see when I am pressing it the LED is blinking but uh, if I am not pressing it the LED is not blinking so that's it for today's tutorial uh, hope you are enjo enjoying this tutorial series and do let me know uh, what are the things I should improve and where should I explain more and where should I explain less. So thank you for watching and have a great day.